Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again, and today we're back on the Ark Survival Evolve server. Uh, I am looking for one of these guys, but I'm actually looking for one quite a bit higher level than this one. Go ahead and take a look. That is a male Drax Onyx Sabertooth. Look at that guy. He looks awesome. But if we head off over in this direction, I do believe we shall find one that is going to be a good bit higher level, or at least I hope it is, uh, or at least I hope I can find it. It should be right over in here. Where is it? Um, we were looking at, let me pull out my GPS, 4957. So yeah, it's got to be right in here. The Draxonic Saber is a new saber actually added by Gaia. Uh, the guy added it and added some pretty cool stuff to it. Just got to find it here. I wonder where it ran off to. Uh, that's an Anki. That's not it. It's 49.57, so it, it's got to be... It's super hard to see in these woods just because of its coloring. And I, I kind of showed you guys the coloring once. But 49.57 is where I saw it before. My goodness, where did it go? Oh, is that it? Oh, to put taming food in last item slot? Oh, I wonder what you tame these guys with. Because uh, I don't really have anything. I don't. I might have to go and look. Put taming food in last item slot. Hmm. All right, well, maybe it's time to venture towards the wiki. So would you believe that these Draxonic Sabers take hemp buds uh, to be able to tame them? I have a few of them here, so hopefully that'll be enough to tame this guy. But let's see. I want to get back over there relatively quickly and show you guys. He's actually, the mod author has actually made another change in these... Um, these Gaia, uh, Aether Guardian boots actually do no fall damage now. The speed buff was moved to the legs. So I thought that was pretty awesome to know. And now we can kind of hit that mountain, hit the mountain. We can fly around all we want without the tech boots and we are doing pretty fantastic. Now let's see if we can go find this... Gaia Saber, this Draxonic Sabertooth, Draxonic. That just sounds so cool. Draxonic Saber. Um, and once you guys see what this thing does, now it does, uh, it doesn't require a saddle, but it can use the uh, Demonic Saber saddle. So I should still have my Demonic Saber saddle, uh, but I should be able to find this guy now. He was around here somewhere. Nope, that's not him. Where's it at? I thought that it was right around this. Maybe over here. Oh, we're going to get a bunch of terror birds. Why can't I hit you? Go away. Weird, is my player glitched? Okay, so that was really weird. I could hit them with my pick but I couldn't hit them with the lightning pike and they can't hit me. And I checked, I'm not in God mode. I'm not in infinite stats. I, I triple checked that. Uh, I haven't really used that on this server a whole lot. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. I had it earlier too. And I thought that it was just that, that, you know, maybe I was stuck in uh, God mode or something. Um, from, yeah, I don't know, maybe some testing. I think I had to go and save Z's you know, person or something like that when he got stuck, or maybe it wouldn't have followed through through the, the sub server, you know, it transferred that. I don't, I don't know, but it's not, it's not doing it. It's, it's not, uh, it's not in God mode or anything like that. So I'm not really sure what exactly has happened. Maybe my armor is too good or something now. Um, okay, so this Draxonic Saber, is this him? Please be the 116. Are you the 116? You're just the 16. I need the 116. Where's... The 116, he's got to be around here. He couldn't have gone too far. 
Where do you think he went, guys? Oh, is that it right there? 116? Yeah. Okay. Gotta wait till it's hungry again at 8 1. And it shouldn't take too terribly long, but we should get this guy tamed up fairly easily here. Look at those colorings on this guy. Oh, it's so cool. It's weird taming a saber. But there we go. We got the Drax Onyx Sabertooth. Oh, man. All right, so let's take a look at some stats. Health is 64,000. Melee damage is 324. Movement speed is 156. And let me tell you guys some of these stats, some of these things that this thing does. Um, it uh, can use a Demonic Saber Saddle, but does not require it. Takes zero fall damage. 75% faster. Three times jump velocity, so its jump is really far. Uh, it has a regular attack, so it can just, you know, sit here and bite this guy for 382. Bite him. Bite him. Look at that jump, man. <laughs> but he's also got a right click. See the right click? It, like, shoots him back away. It's weird that it's not actually showing the... Yeah, and I killed him. So the right click is like shooting a projectile. Um, I'm not sure why it's not actually showing that. But it deals 320 explosive damage, 400 uh, direct damage, releases a gas cloud that lasts for a small second that deals a small amount of torpor and damage. C, C does this. Boom. It's invisible. Can, guys, can, look at this thing. It's invisible. Guys, it's, it's an invisible cat. How cool is that? It's an invisible cat. How cool is that? Uh, cannot be knocked out. Tames via walking tame with hemp buds. So this thing is pretty dang awesome. Let's run back to base, pick up one of those demonic uh, saber saddles, and uh, take this guy out for a spin. Whoosh. We are stealing the demonic saber saddle off of our demonic saber. And going to go ahead and start boosting some experience here. Uh, I think I'm going to go kind of crazy with the damage and see how high this thing can get. Um, I also want to see if I have any experience potions, EXP, or maybe just XP potions. Yeah, we got two of them. So let's go ahead and grab those. Oh, we've got two of each, actually. So we'll take one of those, one of those. Get this guy all trained up. All right, let's take him out. Let's see how much damage he does now. He's doing like 300 before. And bite, 859. Not bad. The uh, the projectile, does that get affected? No, it does not look like it gets affected by melee damage. Kind of a shame, but, you know, it is a pretty strong projectile. Uh, with what it does, so I mean, I could kind of get that, but we increase the melee damage here just a little bit. Man, this thing is getting levels left, right, and center. Uh, I'm curious how high I can get my melee damage uh, with this guy. Um, I don't know if he's as strong as the demonic saber, um, and I don't know if he's supposed to be as strong as the demonic saber. I would. Assume, you know, similar as a demonic, but these things have no, uh, oh, what was I trying to say? These things have no, they're not really super hard to tame. They don't require the saddle. So, you know, these could be a, a fairly easy tame if you really wanted to. So I could understand if, if, uh, you know, these things are a little bit weaker than the demonic sabers, uh, they can be quite a bit tougher to tame yeah see that's not changing at all um which i mean i didn't quite expect it you know any kind of like attacks like that but the fact that it goes invisible that is super cool it's doing like 2000 damage now 2000 damage uh are you still are you just doing 2000 like base now uh that was 1200 uh what about from you yeah 2000 so that's pretty good. We are starting to get up there in its experience points and uh, starting to see some of those effects too. So we can definitely throw in some uh, health here soon, but I, I kind of just want to keep boosting this guy 
up and up and up. Now, there is uh, another update to Project Echelon here uh, that has added some other stages of dinos. And if you guys have been playing uh, this mod pack, you already know that there is something called the Nefarious Tier. Now, there hasn't been much that I've seen that can take out a Nefarious Tier dino. Uh, I have an Odin that's level 205. Uh, that was trained almost specifically melee damage. It does about 6,000. Uh, it takes me about 10 to 20 hits uh, just to kill one uh, with that creature. And it's not easy. It's, it's definitely not. It's a fight, and you almost have to really push, um, you know, those, uh, uh, those health potions and elixirs and stuff. They are definitely pretty tough so we'll probably take a minute here in this episode and go take a look at one of those things i don't want to do it with any of my gaia dinos because i don't think any of them are trained quite well enough just yet to take on that nefarious tier uh they are just a little bit it's one of the things is using two different dinos with this um it definitely can cause a little bit of in balance between them, and that's kind of what I'm seeing here with that nefarious tier. A nefarious tier is just super strong compared to the Gaia dinos. So take that for the bosses, and then we are gonna go boom boom Nymerius. And all right, so yeah, this guy is just gorgeous. Let's take a look at him. Let's take a look at him. Oh my goodness, You're, he's just black with the green. I love it. That is super cool. Oh yeah, that that would that's yeah that's. I think this is the first dino that's been named after me in a mod, and I couldn't be happier. This thing is just awesome. All right, guys, I'm on my Odin, and I am trying to come over here, and we are gonna try and find a nefarious, but we got a an alpha shark coming after us. I can't, I can't dive fast enough with this Auden. They don't seem to dive very well. Uh, they have no upward or downward. I mean, they have some, but it's, it's not very good. Uh, so we are looking for a nefarious. So this thing looks like a terror bird. Uh, let's kind of take a look around here. It looks like a, a terror bird that's lit up like one of these guys. It's, um, it's scary, basically, is what it comes down to. Uh, it was at 30 or 78. So let's come back this way a bit. I think it was 38 or 78, 38 is what I thought that it was at, which is quite possibly not true. Let's come down this way. That's a, a Carnocrat that I don't think... Come here, Colonel Crat. Where are you going, man? You just taking off? All right. Uh, don't see this thing. I swear it was right around here. Where did it go? No, it's not over there. All right, got to look around. All right, guys, there it is. This is the Nefarious. Um, like I said, this thing is rather tough. I'm going to boost a potion here. It does, yeah, you can see, like, 4,000 damage a hit. I'm doing 6,000 damage a hit. Uh, put my health potion in. Just to kind of offset it here. Get back here. Come on, come on. The Auden. The Auden is strong. Ooh, I can't see anything. The thing is looking bloody. Nefarious. Nefarious. Oh, yeah, it's definitely looking bloody. Yes! There it is. We have killed the Nefarious of Nightmares. So this gave us a soul of Teferius. Um, the otter is super hungry now. So, yeah, that, that worked out well. We got a couple of Titan ailments now. Uh, we have the soul of Heferius, which is the one I killed earlier. 
And then this one is Teferius, which I'm not sure on. Look at all those black pearls. That's a ton of black pearls. But yeah, that is the Nefarious. Now, um, these dinos, Nefarious dinos, are kind of like a tier that um, is untamable. But once you get like one of each of their drops like these these pieces here these souls you can actually use those to tame i think a spectral tier now i'm i'm sure i'm probably wrong on that but that's kind of the idea that i'm i think i remember uh but it's it's really it's really neat because you have to get all of these plus some element and then you can tame these super high end dinos that are supposed to be nefarious, like, killers with ease. Uh, and then there's some higher level tier dinos off of that with Project Echelon as well. So there's there's definitely a lot of um, progression there. And I'm starting to think that Gaia is getting outmatched a little bit uh, with, you know, the, the amount of damage and stuff that's related to these dinos. Um I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, I think uh, some guys on my sub server, my um, Patreon server, have been killing him with packs of uh, demonic carnos. Um, maybe even some like heavenly dire bears, I think would do pretty good. The megatheriums, if you could get them all on that bug buff, I think they could easily take them out. It's not so much dealing a ton of damage to them, which I was. I was dealing like you know, four or 6,000 damage a hit, but you also got to be able to take damage. So you got to, you got to be able to have a good amount. And luckily I was using one of those potions. That was pretty smart to pump that, uh, before it went. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of the thing with them. They, uh, they can be nasty. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. We're going to get into some more nefarious killing uh, and some of that stuff. Probably try and tame some of these bigger dinos. I need to do a little bit of work gathering up a lot of these different uh, souls and whatnot and trying to gather up the amount of element that I'm going to need uh, for these things. So, yeah, guys, hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.